Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centre and this is my comparison video between the Yamaha CLP745 Digital Piano and the CLP775 Digital Piano. So the CLP775 is priced quite a few hundred pounds more than the CLP745 so I thought I'd take this opportunity to go through the differences between the two models and examine is it worth spending the extra money on the CLP775. So the first big difference between the two instruments is actually in the keyboards themselves. So the CLP745 uses Yamaha's Grand Touch S keyboard action. It's a new keyboard action for the CLP700 series and it's made to replicate the feel or the experience you get when you are playing a small grand piano. So that would be sort of a five foot grand piano. The keyboard action on the CLP775 is Yamaha's Grand Touch keyboard action and that's without the S on the end and this keyboard action is made to replicate the uh, feel you get when you play a concert grand piano. So the keys on the CLP775 are much longer so obviously the bit at the front is exactly the same as what you see on all pianos but the key itself the long wood stick key goes all the way through to the back of the piano and it's a nice long wooden key and it gives you a bit more leverage and a bit more control really over, over your playing. Um, there is actually a difference in the feel if you just, just run your fingers over each piano individually there is a difference straight away you can feel it straight away in the piano so if you already play the piano then it's worth testing the two out next to each other come along to one of Bonner's stores we have one in Eastbourne on the south coast one in Rygate in Surrey and another one in Milton Keynes where you can try these two pianos next to each other so if you are looking to purchase a piano you know you're making the right decision so another difference uh, between the two models, while, and we're still talking about the keyboard action here, is that the CLP775 is heavier at the bottom and lighter at the top, but it's a linear graded action, they call it. So it gradually gets lighter with each individual note as you go up. So it's, it's a linear grade on, on the keyboard action. Whereas on the uh, 745, it's a graded keyboard action. It's heavier at the bottom, larger at the top, but it, sections of the keyboard get progressively lighter as you go up. So that's another difference between the two keyboard actions. So the next difference between the two models is actually in the sustain pedal. The CLP775 is equipped with a GP response. That's a grand piano response pedal. And if you feel it, um, uh, you, you press the pedal and then you feel um, a little bit bit of pressure or a bit of resistance and you have to press a bit harder to push it down. And that is exactly the same as a grand piano. Now on the CLP745 the, uh, the pedal just goes down smoothly all the way down. You can do half pedaling on both instruments but it, the 775 it's very easy to work out where the half pedal position is because you can actually physically feel it through your foot. The next big difference between these two models is in the speaker system. So first of all the CLP775 has a dedicated speaker box mounted up underneath the piano there as you can see. Now the CLP745 has two 50 watt amplifiers in it so it's 100 watts in total and there are four speakers. Now the CLP775, I need to get my specification sheet here because I can never remember these particular numbers, it has 42 watts, 50 watts and 20 watts amplification on both channels so you've got that times two so you're looking at about 112 watts per channel on this so it's 224 watts in total and there are three speakers uh, on each channel. So you've got a total six speaker system. Um, whereas on here, you only have a four speaker system with 100 watts, six speaker system with over 200 watts of output power. And it's in a separate speaker box as well. So that really does enhance the sound, even at lower volume. So even when the volume is down low, um, you'll appreciate the difference. It's a, a richer, warmer tone. Um, but like I say, come and try the pianos out for yourself if you really want to um, compare the, the, the difference in sound between them. F 
Finally, another difference between the two is in the control panel. So on the CLP775, the control panel is actually a touch panel. You have an LCD display, but with uh, touchpad buttons which turn themselves off. Uh, they kind of go to sleep when you don't touch them so that the control panel almost disappears into the cabinet of the piano. The CLP745 features Yamaha's traditional push button interface. It's a nice interface, very easy to use, um, but they've obviously uh, refined the CLP775 with those um, touchpad buttons. So those are the differences between the two models. Um, to me, the big differences are the keyboard action and the speaker system. They make a huge difference to uh, the uh, playing experience. Um, that's not to say the 745 is an excellent model. It really is because it, 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 if you just play that one on its own, it's an absolute joy to play. But you really do appreciate um, when you, you get the, the added warmth of sound and the, and the keyboard on the CLP775. But it's all going to come down to um, your particular needs, your budget and um, where you are on your playing journey really. Um, the, both instruments will be good for beginners, um, but if you are a more advanced player you really will appreciate the feel of the keyboard in the 775. So I hope this video has been useful. Please do come to one of our stores or if you click the links below, you'll find pricing and uh, special offers we have on different package options with stools and headphones and delivery options. So thank you very much for watching this movie and uh, I hope to see you in another one of my piano movies soon. Yeah.